aren't looking for 30 year old fuck boys. We and we did this That's one. Fact. We did this one, right? <laughs> We yep. did this one. Yep. Um, I do want to bring Billy in here just to give her a little bit of an opportunity here, um, and then we'll pull up another soup chat. Billy, this is your opportunity if you want to just have a stream of consciousness for some clippable <laughs> moments. Just like drop some fucking based. Uh, do you have any opinions on this entire there, conversation? You know, tell us how much you hate feminism, um, <laughs> oh, body count. <laughs> um, there was one part I wanted to come in on, which was how would we make men great again? Um, and I have built a platform on praising men, I guess, and <laughs> trying to recognize men's struggles. Um, but I also want to make it clear that I do hold men accountable. Um, I worked at a, pr I, don't, I think I talked about this last time, but I worked at a prison for four years, all four years of college. I worked at a max security men's prison, and I think that's what got me into kind of protecting men, and every single situation I dealt with in the prison, I. I tutored like four guys a day when I went in there. Um, did not have a father. And I would say it was 50-50. 50% of the cases, the father walked out, and 50% of the cases, the mother would not let the father be in the, um, in, be in the in, child's in the picture. Situation. Yeah, uh, yeah, in the child's life. So at least in the criminal side of it, men uh, fathers in the home play like every situation i've seen so i wanted to make that clear that me supporting men is doesn't mean i'm not holding them accountable are you saying that in order to make men great again we need to have Keep as this many one fathers in the home as possible yes, absolutely i agree with that every every situation i ever saw with fathers not in the home was horrible it was basically i don't want to speak on any specific cases but when fathers weren't in the home, um, men went to a lot of gang-related situations, um, and they would do things to um, fit into the hierarchy, and, and doing those things would be... Do you have any, like, just hot-based dating takes? Dating takes? <laughs> yeah. What was wrong with those takes? <laughs> gangs, prisons, you know. They we, go to, ga they go to gangs and prisons because they have no sense of family and no, community at no home. Because nine times out of ten, they're coming from a single mother household, which is like the bane on any existence of any societal. Yeah. Mm. Single mother households are the cancer of this earth. If you want to have like a, a good, stable, functioning society, single mm. mother households are the absolute antithesis sure. of what you need yeah. to be doing. And feminism has contributed to that, which is for why sure, it's thousand percent. Okay, wait. Thousand Can we just percent? say the feminist that was why feminism that one is just like to blame so for everything. Because they were like, no, other I than feminism, feminism, what is to blame for the collapse of the family structure? And it's like, at that feminist. point, <laughs> the, the slice of the pie chart remaining would be so obscure, it'd be something like f***ing video games. I think a lot of women... Not even video games. Not even video games. I just want to say this very quickly. I agree that single parent households are, are, are single, single mother Sorry, single mother, mother yeah single mother households is is bad i completely agree with you guys correct um Ew, however gross. i think you have to take Sorry, into consideration HL. that like just the pda how know. this was what you wanted we, to see that's what, what the hey guys 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 guys, guys let her talk on. please please you started it was you did hey guys let's let pixie you're playing tongue hockey with your eyes please stop let's let pixie speak i feel like a lot of times when people use this rhetoric, what they sometimes paint this false picture that it's okay for um, people to stay together if it means not being a single mother household, um, even if the situation, the relationship is super toxic, abusive, you know, just not healthy. So I agree, single parents, single mother households are horrible, completely agree with that, but I do think they're better than staying with somebody um, if he's being abusive to you, if no. he's hitting you, you should not raise your child in that environment. You should get your child out of there because that person is being a danger to your family, to you, and to your child. So I agree, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, but that is still an anomaly. I mean, like we mentioned earlier, this, anomaly, is, this is a true statistic. Extreme anomaly. Well, 80 percent of couples can recover from that in five years, and I think it's fundamentally selfish. And you can tell because the type of people who say that they're like, "Well, I just wasn't happy, so it's better for it's better for the child." It's absolutely not. It's not better Wait, for the child. Really but they think that because they're so prideful, they don't want to address whatever they're doing wrong. And their partner is probably because water seeks its own level, probably just as prideful and narcissistic and doesn't want to address what's wrong and fix themselves. And so they think, "Well, I'm not happy, so the child must really not be happy." 
it destroys, especially young boys, if they don't have their father in the household, they're not socialized properly. Like they're literally screwed for the rest of their lives. Daughters, they don't, uh, it's not as effective to them. I mean, they like get a little bit more promiscuous with the guys they date, but in terms of like literally just like derailing someone's trajectory in life, young girls can more or less recover pretty well, but boys are like if their dad's Yeah, I just wanted to say as someone who's studying law, I take a lot of criminology classes and it is true that men who are raised in single mother households end up becoming criminals because of the lack of the father figure in their life. Yes, as she was I, just making that point. Yeah. Criminals, I, homeless, suicide, what, what promiscuity. Yeah, what what you got I think it's us? important Melina. to shine I just, I just think it's important to shine light on the whole fatherless things and shine it. Oh, wait, that's not you, Chase. Who's making the noise on shine. the ground? Can somebody stop, like, I don't know, somebody's banging it's not me. my phone. Is it, is it this? No, it's not that. Somebody's, like, there's a audible. I'm not weird. I can't hear it. Just, I don't care who it is. Just stop, please. Melina, what was it that you yeah, wanted to say? Yeah, I was just curious. I just wanted to see, like, an honest uh, answer on this one. If there's someone that's very, very young, might be really religious and, like, values marriage a lot and goes into a marriage and has kids when they're, like, 18, 19, 20, and then... Um, a year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. From who? Would you, from both. This is so rare. Anyone, it's anyone so really. Rare. Go, on. It happens. go on, go on. My, my it, point is, I'm just, yeah. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think. It is. Uh, go on. If it would happen, what would you recommend for those people to do? Would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. I mean, that's not a real thing. Uh, you can like separate. See, his Catholic background shines through. He knows. Yeah, you <laughs> can't divorce. For real you can married. you can separate, but you can't actually divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive. Because you got to endure. People are too. You want to stick in people relationship. People are just. See, I mean, look, people I'm nowadays be are just pussies. Everybody fucking quits. Everybody gives up. It's too hard. I'm this X Y Z. This is why I'm special. So I can up this entire situation based upon me being special and the reality is people just haven't learned to endure there have been hard times in relationship i'm sure you guys had hard times in relationship any relationship has hard times okay. and it is what it is you need to push through and you need what to endure because we're in this abused? hold on because what we're in this situation now like where everybody's just creating this like super nuanced like one percent example of like well what if the kid's transgender black and abused and he's a black lives matter supporter like cool okay yeah. <laughs> i get like that one fucking minute no, situation for anyone that might be in that situation what would you recommend okay endure. Endure. Would they give up i'll tell you what endure. i'll tell you what i don't that's i'll tell you what, on, just, I'll tell okay. you what i would do mm -hmm. if if my daughter was in a relationship with a guy and she gets married to him and he starts abusing her a Kill year into it <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be showing up on their doorstep and teaching him some lessons. Exactly. That's that's what I would do. I okay, also would but, not um, if 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 I didn't have the you know capacity to do that for some reason. I don't know. I wouldn't want my daughter in that situation, no. quite frankly. And yeah. I understand the argument to endure because I have people close to me who grew up in abusive households and it lasted for periods of time and it was a phase and they endured through it. And they ended up raising healthy, successful families to an extent. So I mean, you they the would say that families. to stick in those relationships that might be abusive to everyone involved and a child, if there's a I'm child. I'm not involved. saying like, hey, That's stick in the extreme. relationship and get the shit yeah. beat out of you by a husband. I'm not I'm not I'm just, I'm just asking you what you believe. I'm, I'm just, just telling you. I, thing. I, I, Even I'm if not it's a small you. extreme thing, I'm just asking you what you think if you should stick in that relationship or not. It's 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 such it is such an extreme example that I can't give a prescription for what other people should do. There is there is is an element of, of how do you guys feel value. about value hold on hold on there is an element of value in what he's saying but I, all I can tell you is what I would do as, how do you guys feel as about, a father do you guys all a daughter have in a situation about, like, like that do you have opinions about third trimester abortion it's yes. terrible. Listen, it, it's okay, okay. terrible. Look at how quickly you can do it. Do you know how terrible. rare third trimester abortions are? They're also really yeah, fucking rare. Are. But you immediately had a visceral reaction to that, yeah. right? There are households where parents are abusive to children. Like that's not like an unfathomable thing, but for you to have that immediate visceral reaction to a type of abortion that's so incredibly rare. But yeah, then when but it's I like, mean, we're well, talking about like a guy like getting drunk and like you know beating it, beating be his drunk, wife occasionally like versus like somebody puncturing a woman's stomach with a needle and injecting euthanasia into the baby's eye socket. I'm it's just like saying. A all I'm saying is that thing. third trimester and abortion murder. is incredibly rare. But you have a visceral immediate reaction to that. But to hypothesize on could there but, possibly? Well, okay. So 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 let me ask you guys. In the Catholic Church, I know that there's like annulments for marriages and stuff are there that no, was a mistake are there no exceptions for like if a guy is beating his wife constantly no there are but now or a uh, woman could as well right hold on hold on well there's yeah. also yes, a distinction could, drawn between if a, a woman's beating a dude that hold on hold on hold on guys a civil divorce a legal divorce and an actual divorce 
of a marriage. It, it, there's a distinction drawn in the Catholic Church where it's excusable to get a divorce in the legal sense. I mean, look, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I, I know there's like the Christian Catholic position and all that kind of stuff. If, if a woman is in a situation where she's getting the beat out of her by her husband and like he might kill her, yeah, she should leave the marriage in my opinion. But statistically, like that's not what it is. It's kind of like with the abortion anom anomaly. That's not like the majority of abortion. So let's like talk about what actually happens and what actually happens when people are getting divorced isn't these types of scenarios. It's like literally initiated, you'll probably know the stat, between two thirds and 80% of the time by women. And the plurality of that reason is they feel unfulfilled. They want a new chapter in their life. It's like the yeah. eat, pray, love phenomenon. Yeah. That should be outlawed. You legally actually should not be able to do that. Also, yeah, but then again, I'm gonna say the exact same thing I said before where, or sorry, finish sorry, it. Sorry, 56% of the time with divorces, uh, one or both spouses, cite pornography as one of the Real. reasons why their relationship has to come to an end an irreconcilable difference I'm what's, gonna, the, gonna, what's the percent say, hold on what's the percent of abor uh, not abortions divorces that are initiated by women brian 78 80 percent 78 80 percent 80 percent and what percentage of those women have college degrees well it jumps to 90 percent if they're college educated yeah. Yeah. real hold on hold on wait, 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 wait hold on you guys misquote that all the time the percentage of divorces by women with college degrees is lower as they have more education. But of the women that have college degrees, when they have divorces, there's a higher percentage. So just to be clear, you're better off marrying a woman with a college degree than not because those marriages have a higher success rate. But when divorces happen, they have a higher... You guys, I hear that stat finagled a lot on these shows, but... Mm, they can are I extreme. Ask, oh, I, agree, another, I agree with that. I want to ask but, like, one okay. more scenario, okay? Please. Oh, what about if uh, two people sorry. get married, sorry, they have a kid, and then the wife starts cheating? Do you think they should divorce? Absolutely. They should yeah. divorce then? <laughs> Jesus himself you don't said. Think wasn't Jesus, hold on, hold on. Jesus himself said. And you could like said, work things through, right? Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery, divorce is So you think the divorce is worse than physical abuse? No. For the children? For cheating, sorry. You think that cheating is worse than physical abuse? abuse. For the sorry. children, yes. Absolutely. I, th I think not. I think Wait, I'm not okay, going to say no. this divorce? is worse. Than divorce is I mean, worse I, I, for the children. No, 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 I already said I already said that if, if a woman's yeah. getting abused, yeah, I think she should leave. Like yeah. I mean, if it's a if it's a, a brief temporary thing like What if it's mental abuse? <sighs> Okay, 